they see that that was the hawk swapping to catch some chicks. Welcome to Anansi Kroon, the city of Kweku Anansi, the spider. Well, my name is Sheila and as we celebrate the Black History Month, we will be sharing this beautiful folk tale that has been passed on from generation to generation. Long time ago, the hawk and the hen were very good friends. But something interesting happened and that is what we will be sharing with you with this story. In any African folk tale story, when Pekwanase is not mentioned in the story, we give credit to Pekwanase the spider. And so we acknowledge Pekwanase as part of the story. Now, as tradition, this is what we do when we are sharing stories with children. I will recite something and then you respond after me. I will say, Anansi Sem Sisiyo, and you will respond, Sen Siwa. Let's try it again. Anansi Sem Sisiyo, Sen Siwa. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Hawk and Hen were very good friends. They used to live together in a little house. They did everything together. They both loved the drum and wanted to make one. But Hen, she was very lazy. One day, Hawk said, Hen, let's go into the forest and cut some wood to make a drum. But Hen, she looked at Hawk, clicked her tongue and said, I'm poorly, you see? I am sorry. I'm very sick and I cannot go with you. Then Hawk said, Very well then, lend me your axe and your machete so I can go and cut the wood for the drum. But him, she looked at Hawk, clicked her tongue and said, I'm sorry, my tools are all sick and they cannot work. Hawk was very angry. He went to another friend and borrowed the tools. Hawk went into the forest all by himself, cut down all the materials he needed and made the drum. He never helped. She was very lazy, you see, and all she would say was, I'm poorly, you see, I'm very sick. When Hawk finished the drum, he brought it home and left it out to dry. But Hawk warned him never ever to touch the drum since she refused to go with him. One day, when Hawk left the house, Hen decided to play the drum. She started playing. She played and played and sang all afternoon. Hen played something like this. Take it this oh yeah, take it this oh yeah, my friend's little drum. Take it this oh yeah, if I get a play. Take it this oh yeah, take it this oh yeah. Break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah. All through the afternoon, Han will play and sing and dance like this. Break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah. My friend's little drum. Break it this oh yeah. If I get a play, break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah. This went on for some time. Indeed, this went on for a very long time. Hen would always bring the drum out to play when Hawk wasn't in. But Hawk, he knew that something wasn't right. He knew that any time he wasn't there, Hen would go and play the drum. But he just needed to catch her. So one day, Hawk had a clever trick. He went to Hen and said, Hen, I'm going to the farm and won't be back early. I'll see you later then, said Hen. As soon as Hawk left, Hen brought out the drum, 
played and played and played, sang and danced all afternoon. Hen played so hard, she played something that sounded like this. Take this oh yeah, take this oh yeah, my friend's little drum, take this oh yeah. If I get to play, break it this oh yeah, 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 break it this oh yeah. Break it this oh yeah, my friend's little drum. Break it this oh yeah, if I get to play. Break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah, break it this oh yeah. And played and played and played all afternoon until suddenly the drum broke. <gasps> what have I done? I'm in trouble. What am I ever gonna say to Hawk? Hawk suddenly appeared. And pounced on Hen, ready to kill her. Hen begged for forgiveness. Please forgive me. Please forgive me, Hawk. I promise to give you one of my chicks each time I hatch. Hen made a promise to give Hawk one of her chicks each time she hatched. And that is why Hawk has been taking Hen's chicks ever since. <laughs> Again and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the story and you picked some lessons from it. There's this beautiful song from the hawk in the hen story called San San Koma, which is in the local dialect tree. It has been sung all over the world by children and adults. There's a short video of myself and children from Coral Bravissimo performing that song. You can do it with your friends and family and we'll be glad to hear from you. Thank you for joining us. Hope to save you next time. Bonnie Catholic.